Hey, hello everyone. I am DJ Mustang, and today we are going to solve this TriHackMe machine. So machine name is Opacity, and we are connected to the TriHackMe VPN that is 10955241, and the box IP is 101031.90. So we'll quickly start the enumeration with the nmap. So it's a sudo uh, nmap. Yes, we're going to fetch the open ports and uh, yeah we got the four ports open so we'll target first this uh, web application because web application have uh, so many information uh, so we'll check okay i'm able to see one web application no banner nothing just a login form so without wasting time we'll quickly start uh, nikto here nikto and the url that is the same one okay then uh, we'll start with the buster the buster just the url will go faster and we're going to choose the medium uh, word list that is a user share it's in the word list and the buster medium definitely and just say start now we'll rename it the buster great so it will be easy to identify which shell is running which terminal is running for what reason then next we'll go over here and we'll uh, try the quick queen admin admin not working admin password oh sorry and uh, not working then we'll go with the uh, sql injection and just copy this thing and paste it no it's not working so we'll check for the view page source and i'm not able to see any comment any sensitive information username password just i'm able to see one uh, css shit and it also doesn't have any uh, juicy information or sensitive information just the CSS file okay so we quickly uh, close everything we'll go to the Nikto and we'll ask is there anything uh, interesting uh, related to this application so they have just one information this is like uh, Apache 2.4.41 so we'll quickly um, google this thing okay we'll directly paste it it will directly go to the google exploit yes that's what we are looking for 2.4 4.41 exploit and is that okay i'm able to see one link okay so what exploit db link is saying it's uh, rc uh, exploit that's a great thing but uh, this exploit needs this cjpn directory on the web server which is i have no idea this uh, directory is existing uh, this directory exists on the uh, you know our web server or not so i'm not able to see the same directory over here in our uh, directory buster list so it's of no use basically so we'll concentrate on our you know enumerated information okay what they're saying uh, five minutes upload uh, personal cloud storage maybe this is a cloud storage we can uh, upload our uh, data on the cloud and there is a link okay we can uh, upload our uh, data from this link so what we're going to do will uh, start the apache uh, not apache python server so it's uh, python 3 yes uh, amazon module and 8000 port so we'll we'll rename it first python server we are running over here so we'll go over here and we can fetch our uh, local file uh, we can fetch our uh, files from the local server uh, because the uh, python server is already hosted on our local host so uh, we'll first obviously whenever we see any link or upload option we'll try to you know uh, upload a reverse shell so we'll say php reverse shell and we got the link so this is the shell 
and uh, I have downloaded this sh same shell on my local host that is uh, reverse.php we just have to reverse.php change the IP address of our local host so where is it okay here is the uh, IP address so we'll quickly change the IP address with the 10 9 55.241 uh, that's great and we are listening on the port 777 so we'll open the one more terminal and see nlvp start listener on 7777 so this is what uh, okay clear it out and we are good to go now we'll do one thing we'll uh, uh, try to transfer that reverse shell on this web application so we'll say http 10955.241 and 8000 port and our reverse shell name is reverse dot php upload image so what they're saying over here is uh, please select an image file so there is a validation uh, they have put on this uh, web application if there is an image then they'll accept otherwise they'll discard so we'll trick this uh, you know web application to accept our okay where is that thing? okay so we'll rename this thing with the uh, reverse.php.png so application thinks that this is a png file but while uh, fetching the file it will accept only this thing and our application or our reverse shell will get upload on this server so here okay the application is accepted this reverse shell file and okay we got the reverse shell over here we say shell and who am i it's a www data that means it's apache user so we'll go to first we'll see where we are actually we are inside the root directory yes definitely can we go inside the home okay and there is only one user that is a sysadmin that means we don't have any information uh, we don't have any rights to uh, you know access these uh, sysadmin files because we are ww data not the sysadmin so we'll go out of this directory and uh, we'll look for the clue okay since this uh, it's a ww data uh, user that means apache user will go inside the var cd var www and cd html so we are inside the web application and uh, i'm able to see the web application over here but nothing is interesting over here one uh, directory i can able to see that is a cd cloud and inside the cloud there is nothing which we have seen on the web ui so we'll go out of this and we are again on the root directory now we'll think where to go so there is one place where uh, all the shared softwares are stored that is a opt folder so we'll go inside the opt folder and we'll see is there anything yes so there is one data set dot kdbx file and it looks like this file have something because kdbx file is basically the database file which stores the passwords so we may get the password from this uh, database file so we'll quickly start the python server over here python 3 uh, module http dot server and we'll uh, host on the one two three four great and uh, okay now there is something wrong what is wrong with this server okay uh, no problem we'll run this python server on the different port m http dot server server and uh, 5555 maybe the server has started so we'll go over here and we'll write we are looking for the same file from the 5555 uh, port so we'll try to get the file so this is how uh, it uh, data set kdbx file looks so we'll do one thing we'll read this file in the key parsecs 
and uh, and key pass x is open now we'll just drag and drop this file over here and it is asking for password which we don't have so uh, we'll do one thing we'll we'll make a hash file of this uh, dataset.kdbx file and we'll brute force with the john the ripper and with the word list of rocku.txt so for that we'll clear it out for that we'll uh, use keypassx dot john module which actually uh, convert this data data set dot kdbx file into the hash format uh, the hash format name is data set so we'll just say yes now i'm able to see the same thing over here the hash file is generated now we're going to uh, use the uh, word list to crack this data set file so john data set and the word list that is uh, rocku.txt so just say okay uh, actually we have already uh, cracked this file that's the reason it is showing loaded one password and it is not showing anything so basically john the ripper what they do is like they they're not going to uh, crack that hash again and again they basically stored that hash value inside their local database so we're going to show that thing uh, what is the password of this uh, hash file so you just have to say uh, show switch once you are done you will get the password uh, of this uh, hash file that is a 741852 and something 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 so we'll again go to the key pass x and we'll enter this password and here we go we got the sysadmin file and yes the password is visible we will do one thing we'll note down the password and the user id that is uh, sysadmin and the password is cloud pass something 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 so we are already on the shell this is the shell where is the shell okay this is shell so uh, say is it working now okay can we exit no quit we'll say okay we just go out of this uh, shell no problem we'll clear it out and we'll do it again uh, we'll go here then again we'll upload the same thing on from the where is that okay reverse.php and here we go so this time what we're going to do we'll uh, escalate our privileges to the sysadmin so we'll just copy the password and sys admin and the password we have okay we got the shell it's not showing anything so uh, okay we got the sysadmin uh, privileges so we'll say home cd admin and now all the files are accessible to the sysadmin because we are sysadmin and this is the folder of sysadmin so first we'll uh, check the the same folder so inside this folder i'm able to see two things are there apart from this these are the these are the um, hidden files so i'm able to see two files uh, it's it's a one file and one directory is there so we'll go inside this directory to see scripts yes what is this and uh, i'm able to see something library and one php file so we'll read this file what they are saying script.php not scripts and uh, it's a small script they are creating a backup but how they are creating the backup it's required this library and uh, inside the library there is a one uh, script php script is there they're fetching the script and then they are creating the backup over here and with the help of this script so this script is basically the script.php and they are first fetching the um, backup dot this something is there from library so we'll go inside the library and uh, we'll see what is happening so what we're going to do we'll uh, delete the script but before that we'll just copy this thing the name of the file 
and we'll make a reverse shell with the same uh, file name so first we'll uh, delete this thing uh, rm and yes now we'll check the list of the files okay we have successfully deleted the uh, the this backup file now we'll do one thing we'll uh, search for the reverse shell uh, okay yes we are looking for the same but one liner okay we'll go with this one not a problem but before that first we'll uh, clear it out the host uh, folder localhost folder and we'll make a same name file yes backup.inc.php and we'll paste that uh, reverse shell one liner reverse shell inside that file so it will be like this and yes i like 9999 and uh, it's a 10 uh, 10.9.55.241 that's what are the uh, local host ip address 10.955.241 10.955.241 and uh, 9999 uh, port number we are good to go i guess before that we'll start uh, listener on 9999 now what we're going to do is we'll uh, transfer that the same name file over here and we'll paste it over here so what the uh, application or cron job thinks that this is the uh, valid file uh, root file and it will fetch that file and it will execute with the root permission so we'll get the root uh, reverse shell w get http 10 955.241.241 and uh, 8000 then the file name that is backup inc.php we'll copy it once again yeah now we are okay now it is looking good so we have uh, successfully transferred the same file over here okay we got the uh, root shell over here who am i yes root and we have a permission to read the root flag so thank you so much for watching and have a nice day